Dream? Ah, well, ah, my ears. No, but... And that Robert Louis Stevenson came up with Jekyll and Hyde while he was asleep? That's very interesting, but... There are no ifs, ands, or buts. So listen, stop contradicting me and tell me about you. Oh, you goddamn hippie. Okay, I guess we have to talk to him. Hey, about that helmet I gave you. Yeah, I know you gave it to me, but now it belongs to that Jamaican joyrider. Why does Wrecker have the helmet? Because he's a perfect idiot, that's why. Anyway, I've designed a better one. The hairdo helmet. It'll be the first helmet that doesn't mess up your hair. Just the opposite, because it'll come with an advanced internal hairstyling system. It'll wash your hair, cut it, do perms. You know, I'm even thinking of adding some arms that'll do manicures. Rutger will turn green with envy. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that one at all. Did you know the helmet stopped working? Yeah, Sushi told me about three days ago. In the beginning, I thought it was just that idiot's fault. But Joshua explained that it's actually a telepathic helmet that can be used to communicate with Trantorian beings. But since their stone was robbed, the line has been cut off. Let's forget the helmet for a moment. Yeah, BB, let's talk about something less unpleasant. Well, about the Trant Knight we're looking for. Your friend Joshua told me about it. I'd love to get a glimpse of that stuff. Huh. Joshua still hasn't explained anything to me about the Trant Knight. He hasn't? Well, he says it gives off as many neutrinos as the sun, or even more. I don't know if you know, but neutrinos are particles with hardly any mass that can pass through any solid body without changing direction. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I studied physics at the university. I remember that they're created through beta disintegration, and... Wow, it's too bad they can only be seen using a neutrino detector, because otherwise... Are you thinking the same thing I am? Do you also think the Mega Fan Mixer will work better if I add saws to the mincing blades? Uh, no, Saturn. Saturn. God damn if it. If we could build a neutrino detector, we could figure out where the Trantonite is, couldn't we? Awesome. I hadn't thought of that. Just yesterday, I was reading an article about neutrino detectors in this month's Do It Yourself Science Illustrated. You have to fill a glass tank with fresh water, put photo multipliers in place, and. Wait, I better look it up. Improvements in ultra energy neutrino detectors on pages 31 through 34. Let's see, 28, 29, 30. Dang, the ones where the article should be. I bet that French girl did this. Huh? You know, man, the one who came here with Dean Grassic. The poor girl was so bored, I lent her my magazine. She seems so nice. And then she goes and steals just the article we need. It's Don't a conspiracy. Worry. I'll try to get it back. Let's hope, and try to solve that fresh water problem as well. As for the photo multipliers, that's a piece of cake. We'll use the telepathic helmet sensors. Joshua told me they increase the neutrino's mass and turn it into photons, so it has to work. The only problem is that that fool Rutger has the helmet, and I don't know if he's gonna wanna give it to you. As long as you're going, tell him he's got so much nerve it won't fit in his hat. Okay. So we're going to build a device that turns neutrinos, I don't think they're real, but what do I know, into photons, which, um, if I remember correctly, are radioactive. yip dee diddly dee If the planet is called Trantor, shouldn't it be called Trantorite instead of Trantonite? You really get bored, don't you? Yep. Really, really bored. That's why I do this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we have time to analyze the stone. Well, it's a shame, because I think it would be wicked as part of my two-mouth bottle. Getting back to our original topic, you haven't seen Joshua lately, have you? He just left a minute ago. I am amazed with his cultural knowledge. Joshua, what did he say? I'm hungry. Exactly the same words uttered by Mike the Melting Pot Orchard in 1935, right before demonstrating in the flesh that ingesting a set of chrome-plated horseshoes is lethal to human beings. Uh... No. 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 What's that you're working on there? Oh, I knew the mini-sub would draw your interest. You don't see a work of techno art like this one every day. And it was a huge success at the last Burning Man festival. The most advanced art event in the U.S. of A. Oh, 
you're such a goddamn hippie. But you're so clever, and I need you, so let's be nice to him. What exactly is the mini sub? It's a state of the art mutant vehicle, especially indicated for use in underwater exploration. You see, when Dean Grassic goes down to the Orion, it will light up his field of vision. And at the same time, it'll send the images to the command post in the yacht so that we can take action in the event of danger. Okay. Is it broken? No, but first I was trying it out in the simulation tank in the cargo hold. And it seemed to me that I could improve the sine wave function to make it more flexible in motion. Plus, I was thinking that if I stick on some electromagnets, I could recycle it to use for underwater skiing. Underwater skiing? Now, suddenly you are talking interesting. Because I would like to see that. All I want is underwater skiing. That would be... That would be quite the sight. What is the Burning Man Festival? Well, it's... 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 it's totally amazing, BB. Very interesting. But let's discuss more important affairs. Whatever you say, BB. I'm gonna see what... Okay, B All righty, Saturn. Hey, wait. Since there's a glass tank in the cargo hold, we can build the neutrino detector in there. Right now, it contains salt water. So you'll have to empty it out and prepare everything so we can refill it with fresh water. You won't have any trouble, because all the water that comes out of the yacht's faucets is fresh. But I told you, as soon as you finish with the tank, get the telepathic helmet back and retrieve that article on the neutrino detector. Come tell me, and I'll get to work. Okay, so... <clears throat> now we have to get the helmet back from Rutger, uh, get a tank of fresh water, and some other stuff, probably. And actually, it was a good idea to talk to Saturn first, then. Because... Uh, the tank we need is where I'm going next, but first let's let's yank his uh, sketchpad. Yep, I'd better tell Saturn. Did I borrow your sketchpad, Saturn? That pad is sacred, BB. It's full of my ideas and designs, so it constitutes my artistic and scientific logbook, and I couldn't risk losing it. My regrets, BB, but I can't lend it to you. Why not? Come on. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Yes. Are you sure you can't lend me your sketch pad? My regrets, BB, but I can't lend it to you. Just, just one page. Please. It belongs to Saturn. Come on, just, just one page. Come on, one page. If at first you don't succeed. Yes. Are try you it again. sure you can't lend me your sketch pad? My regrets, BB, but I. Okay, let's try talking to him. Just one thing. What's up with you? I'm gonna... S uh, nothing. Okay, BB. See you later. So you have probably figured out that, yeah, we are going to need that sketch back, but... Well, as long as I can choose, I guess I'll take a pretty marking pen. Saturn, can I borrow a marker? Of course, BB, keep it. It's immoral to refuse someone a pen. Yes, it is. I think I've used one of these in the past. What I can't remember is when. Yeah, it kind of rings the bell at me too. Oh yeah, let's look at this, just just to make a bit. Only sub, no, I couldn't even look at, no. anyways. Now, another thing at random is the statue over here. A portrayal of Neptune, the Roman sea god. Let's take it. It's made of bronze, so it must weigh more than my car. However, the trident has come loose. I'll nonchalantly slip it into my pocket. Well, Yoink. not too nonchalantly, or I may inadvertently saw a branch off of the family tree. Ew. Okay, so let's leave. And what the hell? I'd swear he had a helmet on before. I wonder where it went. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had one on too. Well, anyways, let's go down and take a look at that tank we're going to need. Don't need to talk to Camille anymore. 